everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Excel to figure out the present value of an annuity due. Let's dig into an example right away. So let's suppose your rich and benevolent uncle has promised to give you $500 every year for the next seven years. Okay, so this makes it an annuity because you're going to get a fixed payment regularly at regular intervals so every year for a fixed number of years which is seven okay so here's the here's the uh, important part you will receive the first five hundred dollars starting today now it is this portion that makes it an annuity due all right in an ordinary annuity as you might recall the first 500 occurs one time period from today or one year from today uh, in this case whereas in an annuity due the first payment occurs starting today or at the beginning of year one okay and so if the banks are paying an annual interest rate of four percent the question is how much is this cash flow stream worth to you today so it is useful to understand this uh, over a timeline so notice that if this were an ordinary annuity then the first 500 would have come to you at the end of year one this is the end of year one this is the end of year two and so the last one would have come at the end of year seven but this is not the situation right now. The situation is this. This is an annuity due. So the first 500 occurs today, which is not end of year one. It is the beginning of year one. This is like January 1st, starting today. And so this, this is the beginning of year two, beginning of year three, beginning of year four, beginning of year five, beginning of year six, beginning of year seven. Please understand that there are still seven 500s right uh, and so that's the important part it's an annuity due you're going to get seven five hundreds but you're going to get them starting today okay so i'm going to basically then get rid of this stuff because that's not what we're talking about so now how do you do this how do you do this uh, how do you do this calculation in excel well if you try to do this using a formula you might go to your lectures and say oh i know how to figure out the present value of an annuity due this is the formula and so you literally try, try to replicate this formula in excel which is going to be it's going to take you some time well, let's try and do that. So $500 is the constant cash flow that you're getting. Uh, interest rate is R and uh, interest rate is the 4% in this case and T is seven. So you literally just uh, try to copy this formula. So equal to 500, which is the constant cash flow. You try to multiply it by, here we go, uh, one minus and then one divided by, and then now one plus r raised to the power t i need to solve that separately so one plus oops one plus 0 0.04 bracket close i raise this to the power seven first and then close the bracket so this just solves the one over one plus r raised to the power t part then i close the bracket again and this basically now solves the one minus one over one plus r raised to the power t I need to multiply all of that with the 500 and then divide by R. So basically I'm going to put one additional bracket here. I'm going to put one bracket here. I know, I know. Uh, I'll divide all of this by 0 0.04 and we're still not done because then we need to take this whole thing. So I'll put one bracket here and another bracket here because all of this, this is all of this stuff and I need to multiply all of this by one plus 0 0.04 oh my gosh right uh, but anyway uh, let's see so this gives you 3121.07 so that's the present value of this annuity due as you can see a lot of room like if you look at this formula my goodness uh, you make one bracket wrong and uh, you know you're gonna have to do it all over again fortunately there's an easier way of doing it and that's that uh, if you use the Microsoft Excel function equal to present value, turns out you can do this much more easily. When you do this, this formula basically asks you, what is the interest rate? You say, oh, I know that, 0 0.04. Okay, done. How many time periods we're dealing with? Or how many payments are we dealing with more specifically? And that's seven. Okay, so very good, that's seven. And then it asks you for the payments. What is your payment here? Payment again in Excel is the constant cash flow that you're getting every every time period. Are you getting that? Yes, you're getting that, and that's 500 in this case. So you'll say 500. Okay, that's that. Comma, 
there's no future value here because all the future 500s that you're getting they are sort of captured in this payment number that you've entered so you don't need to enter anything for future value uh, but then when you go past future value here's the important part this is the critical part excel asks you are you getting these 500s at the end of each period or at the beginning of each period what do you think it's an annuity due you're getting everything at the beginning at the beginning of each period this first 500 was at the beginning of year one today or beginning of year one beginning of year two beginning of year three so here and this is the critical part you need to basically tell excel this is an annuity due by entering this so so if i click on this you need to enter type one if you don't do this the default setting in Excel is that it treats everything as an ordinary annuity. So you have to make sure that if you're dealing with an annuity due, that you enter this one here for type. Otherwise, you're going to get the wrong answer. Okay, so now if you do this and then you press enter, hey, what do you know? You get the exact same answer, which means that it uh, looks like we implemented our uh, formula here correctly as well. You can ignore the negative sign here because as we know in Excel, if the future values are entered as a positive number, then the present value will come as a negative number. So you don't have to worry about that. All right. So this is one way that you could have done this in Excel. There is another way, and this is maybe an overkill. Uh, but uh, one other way you could have done this is this. You said equal to NPV. NPV basically discounts cash flows as well. Now, now the, if you try to do this, you have to be very, very careful because NPV is slightly tricky here. NP, if you invoke the NPV function, it will first have to ask you, what is the rate? Uh, you'll do 0 0.04. Okay, that's fine. Then it will ask you, what are the values? Now, here's the important part. In the net present value function, the first value that you can discount is the one that is at the end of year one you cannot in other words you don't want to do this you don't want to do this you can't just highlight these numbers and say oh just discount all of these no because when you enter the numbers like this npv formula basically thinks that this 500 is occurring at the end of year one right this is the important part value one in npv formula means that uh, it is the cash flow that is occurring at the end of year one. So unfortunately, you can't use the NPV function like this. What can you do? What you'll need to do if you want to go this route is this. You do equal to NPV. You'll enter 0 0.04. And then this is what you do. You basically tell Excel, look, please first discount just all these six 500s. You discount them and bring them back to time period zero first. And then once you've done that, then to that you add this 500, which is already there at time period zero, uh, because and then basically add all of this up. So when you'll do this, then you will get the right answer, which is 3121.07. Okay. Um, obviously, you can see that the, in this case, uh, for an annuity due, this is more straightforward. And so even though you can use either of these approaches, I recommend that you get more comfortable with this uh, this uh, second or well, rather the this approach right here uh, in which you can just enter 500 as the constant payment. Just don't forget to type in the type of annuity, which is one, which is annuity due in Excel. And so this is how you can use Excel to figure out the present value of an annuity due.